My friends, my brothers, my sisters, finally I can do this video. I was always tired, I had long hours at work, even even there was long hours when it was the election on 5th of November, I was watching it and I went to sleep really late because here um, I got the results, uh, partial results, but the results that were Trump won at around 3 in the morning, about 3-ish in the morning, the morning uh, came uh, quick for me I woke up uh, and I slept only about three hours that's all I slept and then I went to work but I was happy even though I was tired because the answer to a prayer came along it came like a whirlwind Trump won Trump won and uh, so many Christians that uh, fasted and prayed so many Christians that stay on their knees for hours they were as well really because uh, if Trump didn't want then the darkness would have swept over America and America would have carried on on the same road four years of Biden and Harris brought uh, spiritual darkness uh, and not only a government that uh, were embracing every abomination under the sun everything was uh, so different than what uh, America was standing for for decades traditional family considered not so important anymore Faith in Jesus considered again uh, irrelevant, not important anymore. Everything was new, everything was woke. Hollywood pushing again and again uh, woke garbage. Uh, the result, uh, them uh, literally very close to bankrupt themselves, <laughs> but still carry on doing it. Hoping desperately that somehow uh, the rubbish that they throw in our face will uh, become flowers <laughs> we will think that the rubbish that they throw in our face is a flower it was not like this they didn't manage to accomplish anything all the, the celebrities on Didi's list endorsed Kamala it didn't help at all all the celebrities from Star Wars, well, uh, at least the most important, Harrison Ford, uh, Mark Hamill, uh, they endorsed Kamala, it didn't work. And once again, Hollywood realized that they are irrelevant. People don't watch them anymore, people don't go to their movies as much as before. Little by little, they lose the power, the power to influence, they lost it already, no one believes them anymore, uh, except the people in the echo chamber as they turn more anti-god more pro the prince of darkness <laughs> you know who he is more against family more against uh, normality more against the uh, traditional values more against conservatorism uh, what is uh, in the end what does it mean to be a conservative a conservative means to preserve traditional values things that work for millennia the definition of man and woman you don't have to work hard to realize what is a man and what is a woman it's not complicated so confusion the confusion was brought by Biden Harris but confusion started with Obama really now the confusion is dissipating slowly gradually uh, you know like uh, imagine mist covering the hills uh, covering the trees in the forest and the mist stays there and it's pretty deep but then when the sun comes on when the wind blows out the mist goes and uh, it seems like it was just a dream it's exactly what's happening now in america as uh, trump was elected as the MAGA movement, MAGA, make America great again. Who made America great God? You know that? 
God made America great. The fact that they were God-centered, the fact that they were sending missionaries with genuine Christianity, not um, prosperity, quote-unquote, gospel, that is what made America great. The fact that they were praying in schools, the fact that they were so in love with uh, family, the idea of family, the fact that they were promoting family. Man, what is a family? Man, woman, children, father and mother. That's what America was standing for. And now America is coming back to what they used to be. Well, it's four years, but uh, these four years might bring another four, and then another four. The darkness seems to be left behind. But that doesn't mean that you and me, we have to relax now. Or to forget something that is more important. Trump won the election, but it's not Trump that brings light. Who is behind Trump? Well, I am confident to say that God is behind what happened in America. Trump is imperfect as he is. Trump as faulty as he is. Trump that had the brush close to death. And that, uh, and now I'm asking you, if he will have a brush close to death, will it be the same? It will change. Trump, this Trump, a broken vessel, like me, me here, a yeah, broken vessel, you there, a broken vessel. Trump is used by God and he is willing to be used by God. The modern day Nebuchadnezzar, many call him this way, but he seems to be more like a modern day King David. Yeah, King David was uh, adulterous as well. King David uh, was a, a, a womanizer. King David had many things there in his life that were not okay. But then uh, he repented. He admitted his mistakes. And God, uh, what did God do? Oh, when you and me, we, we came at him broken and sinful and filthy. God... Uh, open wide his arms. Welcome home, my child. I think uh, it's uh, impossible for Trump to be as well uh, a prodigal son that came back to Christ. So what if he's in his 70s? Soon to be 80s even. He cannot be a prodigal son at this age. Who are we to say what Trump can be and what Trump cannot be? These are my thoughts about what happened in America. Thoughts of hope, thoughts of joy, and uh, proclaiming that, um, as I said, uh, the only one that can make America great again is Jesus, really. Trump has to allow Jesus to take over completely. Jesus to take over the government, Jesus to take over the country, Jesus to be promoted, Jesus to be brought to the attention. All lights have to be on Jesus. If all the lights are on Jesus, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the one that laid down his life for us, the one that resurrected to life to show to us that through him we are resurrected as well. Through him our country is revigorated. Just like Second Chronicles chapter 3 verses 16, 17 says, if my people who are called according to my name will humble their hearts, cleanse their hands and leave for fight their wicked ways, then I'm going to hear from heaven and cleanse their land. What do we need to do, church? Church, we need to be serious with God. To come back to God as we are. And I speak to myself. To burn for Jesus. To decide for Jesus with all my heart and soul to allow Jesus to take over every aspect of my life to crucify the flesh with desires as I am a child of God America crucified your flesh and your desires the flesh with the desires attached to it because the desires these desires so many of them they are springing from the flesh, isn't it? America has uh, four years of grace, at least. What's going to happen these four years? 
we don't know but I'm sure it's gonna be exciting there's gonna be a ride that you will never forget with President Trump making history with President Trump being humbled by the immensity of this moment with President Trump allowing God in the center and he surrounds himself with people of faith Ben Carson is going to be strong again uh, in his cabinet. Reverend Franklin Graham. Look at G.D. Vance, him a Catholic. You might say, yeah, but his wife is a Hindu. Well, God has a plan here as well. Huh? Who knows? Both of them, they might be brought uh, at the foot of the cross and uh, experiencing a revival like never before because if you are sincere in your quest for God God doesn't care where you are he'll pick you up he'll bring you exactly where you need to be he'll bring me exactly what I need to be at the foot of the cross that's where we need to be friends God bless America if there is always a big if God will bless America if America will understand that Jesus is the one that blesses not a political party, not a movement, political movement. Make America great again. Make America godly again, friends. Jesus! President Trump, put a hat on and write on that hat, make America godly again. Jesus can make America great again. Thank you so much for watching. These are my thoughts about what happened in America. Excited, tired, but happy. See you soon, friends.